Good morning, everybody. My name is Nate Morris, and I'd like to welcome you back to another video. Today, we've got rounds five and six of the summer shootout for y'all. Unfortunately, this week, I just couldn't make any speed. Between a combination of the track being super hot and slick, my car being set up a little bit on the loose side, and me just being a rookie, I just couldn't find any time this week. So I qualified 32nd overall, and that put, would put me 8th in the B main. But because they have over 40 cars for the semi-pro division, they split the B mains in two and made it so the top two cars will transfer. So I get to start 4th in my B main and just try to get up into those top two spots. And uh, so I'm going to go out here, try to get that done, try to find a little bit of speed. I need to just get in a groove, run some laps, and try to make a little bit of time. Um... But I hope y'all enjoy this video and let's get into it. Top two gonna transfer in this one. Here they come off turn number four. Sullivan gets a good run down on the inside. Nicholas Bolkaley in that 27 car from Cherry Valley, Massachusetts. That on the low side. Zach Murtis on the high side trying to scratch and claw to hang on to that second spot. Nate Morris, pretty good racer there in that fourth spot. There's some good cars in this one, and only two of them are going to move on. Whoa! Yikes! Did you see that? There were all kinds of sideways in turn number one. Somehow they held on to it. Zach Murtis going to get that spot, but here comes Nate Morris. Morris had to race his way in last week. And now he's got to get by Nick Mulcahy in the 27 and then find a way up to and around Zach Murtis. And while they continue to race, that top pair begins to pull away. It's already nearly five to eight car lengths. So they better get hustling as we come to complete lap three. Yeah, David Sullivan, the fourth, is setting the pace at the front of the field, flashing across the stripe. There is Zachary Murtis. Zach Murtis in that second spot. And we will see what happens with Nate Morris. Morris in the number 25 from Morganton, North Carolina is right there. He's not gotten away from Nick Bokele and that four spot. In fact, Bokele just gives him a shot in the keister coming up off from turn number four. So we'll see if either of these drivers can challenge for a qualifying spot. This time on the back stretch, they're nearing the point. Next time by, halfway down, halfway to go. Cross flags in the air from Bubbles Bronson. That means David Sullivan's just got a mile and a quarter left to go. This third place fight, though, one of the best on the racetrack. And when Zach Murtis looks in the mirror, when David Sullivan looks in the mirror, they would love to see nothing more than this right here. These two continuing to shove each other aside, trade blows, and race it out. Because the longer they do that, the bigger that gap gets, gets from position two to position three, and the safer the top two are into getting into tonight's feature. Yeah, Bo Kaley has that spot, and now uh, Bradshaw, Michael Bradshaw sneaks up in there and takes the uh, number four spot from Nate Morris. Morris gave Bo Kaley a shot down into turn number one and lost a lot of momentum. So all of that really yields the same thing. Your front two with a breakaway at the front of the field. Here's third place, Nick Bo Kaley in that third spot but he is well back of your lead duo as this time by the race under the stripe. Twin popsicle sticks, if you will, two laps to go. David Sullivan leads up off from turn number two. David Sullivan leads and it is a healthy lead over Zach Murtis coming down to the white flag. Caught about five car links now as they cross underneath that particular rag from Bubbles Bronson and David Sullivan can just about go ahead and lick the stamp as he sends it off to turn number three. Sullivan sets the left side tires right down into the white line up off from turn number four. Here is David Sullivan. David Sullivan, the fourth, gets Check the win. Out. Zach Check Murtis out. gets the second 007, spot. Those two drivers are going to be racing in the VP for our second pro feature. The scale. All right, y'all, that didn't go to plan at all. Uh, if you could tell, I was just a little bit loose that whole run. Couldn't get any speed on the exit of the corner and couldn't carry any speed down the straightaways. And uh, I was really just trying to hold on to position there, and that didn't work out very well at all. So we're going to go into today, see if I can find some speed, and see if I can get into the A main. Pace car going to exit the racing surface. Lights extinguished around the speedway, and no. That's not how you restart a VP Racing Semi-Pro B-Main. Caution out. Forty-one VP Racing Semi-Pro semi Legend entries. 
huge field of cars as we get set through the restart zone. Green flag in the air. This time, Joey P does not get turned around in the restart zone, and he will lead off turn number two as they make their way back towards the completion of lap number one. Chris Belinsky continuing to show the way. Gear right there in second. Zach Murtis, those top three, they have separated themselves back from David Sullivan, Nate Morris and company. And now Zach Murtis, he has got to find a way to race his way in from P3 to P2 is where he's got to go. And this is the fight behind him. The more they continue to race, Steve, the more ground they're going to lose. Yes, indeed. And they keep dropping back as they race their way for that fifth spot. Nate Morris on the high side, McKenna Crocker down low. Wheel to wheel, it's a great race, but boy, they are losing touch. And with only two cars transferring out of this VP racing, semi-pro B-Main, first of two B-Mains, uh, they have lost touch with those transfer spots. Joey Prisbolinski is your race leader in that number 30. Will Gear has the second spot, but Zach Murtis is turning up the wick in that number 02 from Wake Forest, North Carolina. Murtis is there off turn number two onto the back straightaway. All that pizza delivery driver experience going to come in handy for Zach Murtis right now. Going to try to find a way, any way he can, to get around that white number 11 off of turn number four, halfway through this one. Five down and five to go. Zach lost a little bit of ground that time. In fact, Gear just ran the fastest lap of the race of anybody. So clearly that 11 car finding a little bit of speed as well now. Yeah, Will Gear getting that thing wound up now and uh, not a better time to do it. The racer out of Norton, Ohio. Up there in that final transfer spot, you're never 100% sure when you're sitting in the hot seat. You want to make sure you do it. And he's starting to click off some pretty solid laps there in that white number 11 car running in the second spot. Murtis in that black number 02 trying to get up there. Dirt tracks it a little bit off from turn number four as they come down. Seven laps down, three laps to go. Three laps remaining and... They continue to hold a little bit of gap over fourth place David Sullivan. That's good news if you are Zach Murtis. Means you're not going to be in danger when you make that move of losing the spot to somebody behind you. Thing is, you've got to get to the back bumper of real Will Gear to have any sort of shot. And now it's just, oh, seven, call it now six corners remaining. That is not a lot of time to make up what appears to be about a four to five car length gap as they work their way off. All right, y'all. I don't even know. Uh, just didn't have any speed today, unfortunately. But we'll come back next week. We've got a week to think about it, so we'll come up with something. We'll get faster. Uh, but just unfortunate how today went. Really wanted to be in those big races, uh, but just didn't happen. And that, I guess that's racing. Sometimes it just don't happen. But uh, the good thing is we get to hang around after these races. And uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway and U.S. Legends Cars, they have a uh, autograph session on the front stretch for all the drivers to bring their cars out and do that, and then get, they get to watch fireworks. So it'll be a pretty cool deal. We'll take our car out there and sign some autographs. But that'll be all for today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one.